All right, you guys, this is your boy back at y'all with another one. Shouts out to the Lions Day basketball community. Give the video a like, hit subscribe, and the bell whenever I go live. That way you get those notifications. All right, let's get down to business. You know, this story here rules with cruel and not usual irony as the Minnesota Timberwolves fired Ryan Saunders after they lose to the coach that they fired and Tom Thibodeau. I guess that was the final straw. Now, three weeks ago, like on January 30th, I did a video about why this Ryan Saunders had a head, was still a head coach. And I laid out, you know, you know, the, how bad they were offensively, how bad they were defensively, his rotations, all that stuff, right? Now, the fact that they hired a head coach right after they fired Ryan Saunders told me that this was something that they were doing behind the scenes, and this was in the works for a while now, so it was a matter of when and not if they was going to fire Ryan Saunders. So... Timberwolves won a three ninety nine loss to the uh, Knicks at Madison Square Gonder, Garden. Garden featured the most recently fired coach of the franchise. Few knew that the night started that the coach would be Ryan Saunders. Shortly after the loss, the team released a statement saying President uh, Gerson Rosas fired Saunders as a team. Coach after a league worst seven and twenty four start to the season. On top of that, came the surprising news that Rosas has lined up Saunders' successor, Raptors assistant coach Chris Finch. Ro- Rosas and Finch had a long working relationship. Source confirmed to the source confirmed that the sides are in the process of finalizing a deal for the fifty one year old Finch to take over. A rare move to jump from one franchise to another mid season. Now Ryan Saunders is the uh, head coach, uh, is the son of um, former uh, coach and executive Flip Saunders. He replaced Tom Thibodeau in January 2019, and Roses took over as um, president of basketball operation five months later. So if this was the starting turn of events, considering that last month the team had no plans of firing Ryan Saunders. They had all the intention in the world to see this thing through to the uh, to the at least to the end of the season. But as losses keep piling up, frustrations within the organization uh, correlated with those losses piling up, and the final straw was when you lose to a guy that you recently fired. Because they fired Tom Thibodeau back in 2019. So, there you go. Man, this is not about the Los Angeles Lakers right now. Come on, man. Respect the title of the video, man. So, where do the Wolves go from here? They still have Carl Anthony Towns. They still have D'Angelo Russell. Now, D'Angelo Russell, you know, considering that they've both been hurt, him and Carl Anthony Towns, Carl Anthony Towns has got back from battling the Covidius Maximus. So where do the Wolves go from here? They, They brought back Ricky Rubio, which I have no idea why would you even do that in the first place? You know, you trade the guy only for only to trade for the guy. That makes no sense to me. If that was the case, you should have just kept him. But anyway, they got a lot of young players on that team. If I'm the new head coach, 
you try to see what you got in the young rookies, right? So I would not be playing Rubio, right? What's up, y'all? I will see what I got with Anthony Edwards. I mean, you draft the number one overall, right? And the GM should be fired for that because when you drafted uh, Anthony Edwards number one overall, and that guy immediately comes out and was like, well, you know, my heart's not really in the basketball. So that should have sent alarm bells up right there. But nevertheless, they have a you know they do have a young team, and I don't see this getting any better for the Wolves in the near future. It's going to take them at least a couple years, probably like two to three years. This is going to be a long term rebuilding project now. But provided that you know uh, the Raptors assistant come in, he just you know. Waves the magic wand and poof, the Wolves become a company NBA team. They're going to struggle for a while. I mean, the roster construction has been terrible. Um, you know, and I point back to one, I point back to this one thing actually, two things, right? So, if you, if you go back a couple of years ago when Tom Thibodeau was there, right? They had made the trade for Jimmy Butler. And they had Andrew Wiggins was on the roster. Carl Anthony Towns was on the roster, whatever, like that, right? They gave Andrew Wiggins a max deal. Now, was Andrew Wiggins, you know, solid player? Yeah, he was a solid player. I mean, he wasn't a scrub. But he was not a max player. Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah. You know, multiple time All Star. Got, you know, got rookie of the year under uh, Minnesota and all that. So, but even then, I still felt like he got way too much money. You know what I'm saying? I, I still felt like he wasn't deserving of, of a max contract. Now, there's going to be some people that disagree with me on that one. That's fine, but, you know, but when Jimmy Butler see that, these guys not putting in the work, right? They got their money. They didn't put in the work. They got lazy. You know, they just felt like, you know, if Jimmy Butler sees this, and he automatically tunes himself out. So that's how you had to report of him, you know, running with a whole bunch, basically running with the scout team, which forced his way out of Minnesota to Philadelphia. And that's how uh, Robert Covington ended up with the um, Timberwolves. Look. The whole situation was a mess. Tom Thibodeau eventually ended up getting fired from as a GM and a head coach. And they brought in Ryan Saunders. But the truth be told, Ryan Saunders was set up to fail from the world goal. Now, what? he wasn't a good coach. But the but still, they, he was set up to fail from the world jump. Now, I'm not defending Ryan Saunders because I, I think Ryan Saunders should be selling car insurance for Geico. But that also being said, he wasn't really dealt a good hand to begin with. So, like I said before, what's up, Jeffrey Weaver? They're gonna have to they they got a they got a lot of questions to answer, and to me, they're gonna have to like really see what they got in these young players, man. Get Ricky Rub man. I would if I'm the coach right now. I would make a Ricky Rubio a DNP CD. And try to find and, and get him up out of there. Get get him a trade partner or something like that, and see what you got in in, in these in these young players like Anthony Edwards, the guy y'all selected number one overall, who really wasn't in the basketball, right? <laughs> so, 
So, what's up, Arkeesh Ross? Salute to y'all, man. For real, man. So, Finch, who is 51 years old, was an assistant with the Nuggets and Pelicans before the, before joining Nick Nurse um, staff in Toronto. Uh, he was born in Ohio, was an NCAA Division Three All-American guard at Franklin and Marshall in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. He coached Great Britain in the 2012 Olympics. Now, to make the move, Rosas passed over another potential head coach candidate and interviewee from 2019 search, his current associate head coach, David Vanderpool. Now, um, which you got David Vanderpool on the roster or whatever, right? But you don't even consider hiring him? Like, what the fuck is that? You go outside the organization to bring in a guy, and not not only you bring in the guy, you bring in the guy on a multi-year deal. What's up, Tristan McCray? East Oakland 90 Matt was good. Arkees Ross was up. Uh I see y'all up in here, man. Straight up, man. Appreciate y'all for being up in here this morning. That's what I don't understand. You got a guy right there on the bench in David Vanderpool. You don't you don't hire him on an interim basis, right? At least at least give him the opportunity to see what you got in him. You go outside the organization. Bring a guy, bring in a guy from the Toronto Raptors, and then sign him to a multi-year deal. The Wolves went nineteen and forty-five, and endured multiple long losing streaks a year ago as Rosas made the roster at the trade deadline, heading to the season. Rosas was expected to see progress despite growing pains a young roster will have, but wasn't seeing enough of it. The Wolves had wilted late in games, have gone through prolonged periods of losing Carl Anthony Towns due to a uh, wrist dislocation and uh, a battle with the Covidius Maximus. Saunders only got to coach D'Angelo Russell and Towns for five games. Last month, amid the current team struggles, Roses was asked about jobs, his job status and said criticism directly solely at Saunders was misguided. Saunders had to be better, but just like everyone in the organization. But a month later, Roses made a singular decision to remove Saunders. Rosas revamped ev almost everything about the basketball side of the operation upon taking the job, from the front office to scouting the analytics, the Saunders coaching staff. He was the Saunders was one of the few holdovers he kept, and in one of the most prominent positions. Obviously, that's not the case anymore. Now, Saunders' record in fourth quarters this season didn't help his cause. The Wolves have lost multiple games despite having leads in the fourth quarter, such as Friday against Toronto. They battled back from 21 down against the Knicks. They took a one-point lead for under a minute behind a strong fourth quarter from Cat, but couldn't build on that late as Julius Randle hit a couple of free throws to put New York ahead for good. Now, Saunders built a reputation in the league for being a player's coach and his close relationship with Towns helped him become a head coach. Now, Rosas has made it clear that Towns is the future of the franchise. He has made moves to compliment Towns on and off the court. And uh, Towns' happiness in Minnesota is vital to the success of the Rosas regime. But either way, this is a that that was really peculiar to fire Ryan Saunders at this point in the season. But anywho, he's gone. They got a new guy. So and truth be told, that Rosas guy, he need to be gone too, man. Straight up, man. He that that guy looks like he's just sticking his finger in his mouth. Puts it up in the sky to see where the wind's blowing, and that's what the direction he's going. So, like that—that that guy is clearly does not know uh, 
what he's doing either. So whoever that owner of the Timberwolves is, right? I would, you know, at the end of the year, I would look at a cannon this guy too, because this guy clearly doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. And, you know, truth be told, Carl Anthony Towns deserves way better than this, man. I mean, this is almost like Kevin Garnett replayed. Because remember, Kevin Garnett went through a long stretch in Minnesota of losing um, prior to him, prior to team making the playoffs and eventually going to the uh, going to the uh, Western Conference Finals against Kobe Bryant and the Lakers and all that. Glenn Taylor, that's his name. Yeah, but Glenn Taylor needed to make a decision regarding this guy here at the end of the season because this guy sucks. I mean, maybe I can go up there. Man, you paid me and two raw for TV a fraction of what you're paying these Bammers, man. We can do a better job, man, because this is ridiculous, man. I tell you right now, if I get, you hire me, I'm firing everybody plus the bathroom attendant. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I, I wanted Charmin and you got me um northern northern quilt, your ass is gone. Straight up. This is ridiculous right here. You know. Just in I mean, just flat out insanity by the uh Minnesota Timberwolves, man. Uh, they definitely need to do something about this, man. I mean, yeah, they go. They, yeah, this is a young team. Yeah, this is a team that's going to endure some growing pains. But I mean, seven and twenty-four is inexcusable. You, you, they're like the one of the worst team, if not the worst team in the NBA. For real. But you guys definitely let me know what y'all think about the uh, about these stunning new developments, right? Smash the like, hit the subscribe. This your boy. Scream at me. Hey!